How you doing? I don't know if you know, but since Jeannie May passed, I've been keeping an eye on her properties for her. I think it's time we gave everything back to you, so take this key and make yourself at home at our motel. It'll open the room on the second floor, closest to the lobby. Hope it suits you. Sure thing. Have a look. Welcome. Come on in. I don't know if you know, but since... Sure thing. Have a look. Come back soon now.
Ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. The Great One can be found upstairs. Don't think about wasting his time. He's very important. You should feel lucky to be granted some of his time. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out. Somehow. 
And now they are lost forever, denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer, bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith, not to be discussed with outsiders. The demons appeared from nowhere, except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Praise the Creator! Bless you, Wanderer! Bless us all! As soon as the Underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the Great Journey can resume. Hello. Adler, we have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Adler, for safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Adler, I'll ask. Ah, uh, hi, human. Why you come here? Who is Antler? Who is Antler? Antler, the human asks about you. What do I tell it? All right. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. Cut it out, human. Serious final warning. Me? I am devoted to Antler. But before Antler? Hmm. Captain once. Last name Davison, first name... don't remember. 
I commanded a troop of Nikon, the Master's elite. A great honor, very proud. Something happened. We wandered the desert. Life without Master was hard. The others' minds going strange, going crazy. But then I found us new Master. I found us Antler. Since then, everything's been going really well. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You meet the ones upstairs. Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. Yes. Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? Bet he told you it's the Creator's will for you to risk your ass, instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harlan. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room, set up a nice little kill zone, and a story. I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein, condensation off the pipes for water, and I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you, that Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Uh, or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask, but it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay.
you find my friend? I see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. All right. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? Liar! The envoy said stealth boys here. Antler read it out loud to me. But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? What, Antler? But human could be lying. He's stealing the stealth boys for itself. Oh, Antler, you trust so easy. Your lucky day, human. Antler, believe you, Nikon will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. Antler is sad. We night can go now, but there is fewer than when we came here. Is the way clear? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. 
We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. I am Jason Bright, the Prophet of the Great Journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. <laughs>